Hi and welcome to another video tutorial from instructorresources.co.uk Today we're going to look at how to figure out the height of water at any given time. Knowing the tidal height allows the depth of water at a given position to be predicted by adding the tidal height to the charted depth. So the first thing we want to have a look at is charted depth. These numbers all over the chart show us the charted depth or the lowest astronomical tide. So for example in the white areas which identify deep water you've got a number here which is 15 which means there's 15 meters of water here at lowest astronomical tide. If we move up into the dark blue areas which show shallow water there's a little 1.4 here and you can see that the 4 is offset which means there's 1.4 meters of water here at lowest astronomical tide. And if we move into a green area which is an area that dries out You'll see here that there's a zero, an offset seven, and then a little line underneath it. This means that there's 0.7 meters of land above water height. So in essence, in a really basic sense, that line can be seen as a minus. So minus 0.7 meters of water. What we want to do now we've identified our chart datum and charted depth is go to Easy Tide on the internet. So we click on Easy Tide, go to Predict, and then we're going to have a look at cows today. We just want today's prediction, so we click on one day and click predict. And as you can see, it will come up with a tidal curve, which shows the height of tide at any given time, and also some specific tidal data in the bottom. As you can see, it's Sunday the 13th of May. Low water is 9.57 in the morning at 1.4 metres. High water is 17.38 at 3.8 metres. If you look towards the bottom of the page, it also gives you a daylight saving warning. So you've got to remember that May is, in essence, British summertime. So what we need to do is add an hour to apply this. We go up to the top right-hand corner, click one hour, and press apply. We will change these figures here so that now low water is 10.57 in the morning at 1.4 metres, and high water is 18.38 at 3.8 metres. Now to figure out the exact height of tide in a given area, we're going to focus on cows and for example this location here. So you can see here it's the zero with an offset three and the little line underneath which means there's 0.3 metres of land above water level at this location. So to find out what the height of tide there is at 10.57 in the morning, what we need to do is add this number of charted depth to this number on the tidal height. So we've got 1.4 metres of water at 10.57, which is low water, and minus 0.3. If you add those two together, you'll come up with 1.1 metres of water. So at 10.57 on the 13th of May, you're going to have 1.1 metres of water at this location. If you then want to figure out the height of tide at high water, you go back to your tidal information, and at 18.38, we've got 3.8 metres. We then need to add this to our minus 0.3, and the answer is 3.5 metres of water at this location. You can then find out this sort of data from anywhere on the chart. So, for example, if we go here to, for some easy maths to 20, so there's 20 metres of water there, that's the chart of depth. We add this to the low water height, which is 1.4 metres, that will be 21.4 metres of water in this location at 10.57 in the morning. If we want to find out how much water is in this location at high water, which is at 18.38, we want to add the 20 to the 3.8 metres, which means 23.8 metres of water at this location. You can then apply this information to any chart in any area, as long as you've got the tidal height and chart the depth. Um, we hope this tutorial has been of some use to you. Um, there's many more tutorials available to watch and view on instructorresources.co.uk. Many thanks.